So here we are, inside of the Hyrule Castle itself. We're really getting to the final stretch. And it's gonna start with another one of these monster arenas essentially where we're just gonna have to beat up some more Bokoblins because they just really enjoy feeling my sword slash and stab into their body. There we go. Oh, you still live? Okay, well not anymore. We also get some Dynal Bones, which aren't really much more difficult in my opinion. In fact, I think they actually die in less hits. So that's actually pretty nice. The only difficult thing is that they can block a bit better, I feel, sometimes. Like their AI is supposedly better. But I've never really noticed much of that. So, yeah, I'm not too scared. Anyway, that does lift it up. And uh, lights up the room a bit. There's a lot of chandeliers hanging too, and a treasure chest spawns. And that's a treasure chest that I definitely want to pick up. So let's pull out our claw shot and uh, walk up these uh, stairs here, which are very conveniently placed. And we can grab onto the chandelier and open it up. So what's inside here? Well, it's our compass. So now we can see any hidden chests. So uh, yeah, that, that, that will definitely be useful. Although, I mean, I know where all the chests are, so it's not going to be too useful. Uh, one thing that you will see is that there are still two treasure chests that we can get here on those other two balconies. Now, we'll get to that a little bit later, but just keep it in mind. So let's go through the first balcony door and we're faced with a pretty tough challenge. That's right. We have to fight another Dark Nut here. And this can definitely be a tough battle. It was, I mean, after all, it was the mini boss of one of the dungeons of the Temple of Time. And we had a pretty tough time against him then. And yeah, now we have to fight another one. And it's not even a mini boss or anything. It's just a regular old enemy for us. So let's keep doing our backslashes because eventually we will break through. I, I just know it. Oh, come on. How How is he blocking some of those? Some of those definitely should not be blockable by him. You cheater. Let me backslash you. Come on. Okay. You're starting to work on my nerves, buddy. Stop blocking my attacks. Okay, there we go. Now we got him. Okay, and he has, he will throw his sword. I think we blocked it, maybe. I'm not actually sure. Okay. okay, let's let's back off a bit. It's I I hate when they get too close to the wall because you will be screwed if you touch it. But they don't get damaged by it at all, which is unfair. But that is the way it works here. So just wait for him to slash, and you can block him, and. Uh, then you can damage him. Okay, okay, come on. Come on, just try to attack me, buddy. Just, just try. Just try me, son. He is blocking everything. He is doing very, very well. Okay. Um, let's uh, try a backslash. Okay, yeah, that actually does work a lot better. I, I forgot how well backslashes work against him in this form. I uh, I want to do a sidestep and it keeps doing jump attacks because I'm messing up my commands. But yeah, backslashes, he has to block them and then it leaves him open. So that works quite well. Takes him down and spawns a treasure chest. And uh, yeah, but how do we get up here? Well, actually... It's quite funny. If we stand on here, right over here, then we can lock onto this uh, torch and blow it out, and that will lift us up very nicely. And we get a purple root. Now from here, you can go either to the left or you can go to the right. Now remember those two treasure chests that I mentioned from the fir from the first room of Hyrule Castle? Well. If you go to the west, you do not get those. You get a bit easier enemies, 
um, but you don't get the treasure chests. So instead, I am going to go ahead and show off the east side. Now, I might show off the other side, like after the end slate or something like that, if I, uh, or maybe like in a side by side view right now. I'm not sure yet what I'll do, but uh, mainly I'm going to go ahead and start off by showing this side. Now, there will st we'll start with these two enemies here that I didn't slash quick enough. That's why I don't like spin attacks, because I'm always very, very slow about that. Um, but we have a lot of these paintings. Now, if you get rid of uh, the rope, there will be a switch behind it. Shoot this one, and the door opens. Now, all of these paintings have a switch behind them. If you uh, hit the wrong one, you'll spawn a bunch of chews. This can be useful because there is a red chew among them. So you can get some red chew potion and heal some hearts if you want to. But if you don't want to deal with chew jellies, then make sure that you just shoot that painting that I showed. And just hit that switch. So here we have two dark nuts. That's right. That uh, can definitely be quite challenging. Now what I recommend is trying to lure one of them over. There we go. We did it. Uh, that way you don't have to fight both of them at once. We can just fight them one at a time. Now it will take a little bit for him to walk over here. But it's definitely going to be worth it I think. So he will uh, attack. But we can now get rid of some of your armor. I'm going to back up a little bit. Ah oh, damn it. I spawned the other one. That That is bad news for me. Because that, that, that really does suck. Because now you have to yeah take on two of them. And that... That, that is really, really not good for me. Um, you know what I'm going to try? I'm going to try bomblings. Yes, okay, it works. It works. Bomblings can uh, blow up their armor because they can walk underneath them. It doesn't always work, unfortunately, but I have enough. So I'm, I'm okay with it. Come on now. Okay, it's not working anymore. Oh, come on. They're blocking each other's attacks. So now they're not really that vulnerable. Okay, well, I got through them. That, that, that was good. That was a good turn. Okay, and again, we got through them. We did get hit though. So that, that is unfortunate. And that is why I definitely recommend try to only engage with one of them at a time. It will save your life, basically. Or, well, it will save you a lot of damage at the very least. Okay, well, I'm, I got to the back of you. He might attack me now, but that's okay. I'll risk it. Ah, oh, damn it. He hit me with the sword. Okay, so now we have one fast one, as well as one small one. I have fairies, so I'm not too worried yet. But uh, yeah, I will probably be using up one of my fairies here very soon. Because I didn't intend on engaging with both of them at once. Uh, if I survive this fight and uh, the beeping still goes on after that, then I will um, just use a fairy manually. So don't worry too much about the beeping for now. Okay, that's one of them down. So now let's take out the other one. Now that we're one on one, it's a lot easier. Okay. Come on. Okay. Let's, okay, let's 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 do a back backslash link. Backslash him. And then slap 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 stab. There we go. We got them taken down. That that was a bit tough, but we did it. I'm gonna go ahead and use a fairy here. Just to get rid of the annoying beeping sound. But uh, yeah, that takes them down. So there we go. That unlocks uh, the doors here. Now, uh, if you go through that... Uh, is that the way that you need to go? Uh, that That's the way to actually continue the dungeon itself. Uh, with the suits of armor. Instead, we're gonna go over here though. And this will put us out on a balcony. Now there's a chest right here with a purple rupee. But as you can see on the map, there's still one more balcony with some rupees in it. If we step on this switch, that will spawn that chest right over there. Now if you want it, you can get it. All you have to do is jump down 
and then hook onto that chandelier and yeah, you can get it. It does mean you have to walk all the way back through the dungeon though. There is no quick shortcut to get back up there or get back up to the balcony where we were. So just keep that in mind if you choose to do it. I choose to do it here because, well, I want to show off what it's like, you know. And plus it is a silver ruby. I am getting all the chests, so yeah, I am showing that off. But otherwise you might want to just say like, eh, I don't need those 200 rupees that bad. I'll, I, I'm good. I'll uh, stick with not getting it. It's really entirely up to you. But yeah, now I'm going to go ahead and make my way back to the room uh, with where I fought those two dark nuts. And uh, I will see you guys when I'm over there. And we'll take the other door. Alright, back in this room where we defeated the two dark nuts. I, uh, if my health and stuff looks a slightly different, that's because I actually went ahead and showed off uh, the other path. Anyway, this time around we do want to enter through here because this continues the dungeon. Because it exits out us out here onto the balcony. Now we can see right over there, uh, there is something over there. And that is the key. Or the boss chest, boss key chest. But a bunch of enemies pop out. A bunch of archers are there. Yeah, we're kind of outnumbered again, aren't we? Well, not to worry. Because those archers are getting shot. Those enemies are getting bombed. And we can see an eagle flying away. Or a hawk. Whatever. I, I'm not a bird expert. Probably a hawk. Yeah, there we go. The resistance fighters helped us out. They took those guys down, so we're not alone. We are fighting together. Well, I mean, that's really all that they will be doing, but I appreciate their help nonetheless. And let's go ahead and open our chest right here. And we get a nice big key. We can also break this box here. Uh, I was hoping for maybe some arrows, but that's okay. We should have enough arrows anyway. Uh, now we can go up this slope. And there will be this door here, but it's locked. So we need a small key. So we'll go back down the slope again. Now, this is the door you go through if you take the... Uh, Western pot or the left pot, the one that I didn't show off as the main pot. Uh, that's when you come out of here instead. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Anyway, we're gonna move ahead and this time uh, a barrier pops up and we have one of these arrow foes. He's gonna fly around and uh, slash at us. Not, not very nice, are you, buddy? Not very nice indeed. Well, we'll just uh, wait for you. To put up your little shield. I have the time, don't worry. You're just making my viewers wait, you know, but that that's okay. There you go. There you go, buddy. There you go. That wasn't so hard, was it? Yeah, and we can just shield bash you and take you down. So there we go. Barrier disappears and we get a smoke. So what will we use it on? Well, that locked door at the top of the hill, of course, as if it wasn't obvious yet. But yeah, we are getting closer and closer to the end. We're getting higher and higher into Hyrule Castle. Let's go ahead and go through this door and see what awaits us next. Well, it's an interesting and quite simple looking room. However, it's turned into a wolf. And, uh, yeah, we can see that there are a lot of soldiers around. There are also a lot of cool rats. So shake those off first. And the soldiers will point you. So simply walk straight from where the soldier points until you reach the next soldier. And that way you will be able to make it through this. I believe the other things fall or something so you'll die so yeah try to just follow them 
until you're at the end here, then you can walk up these stairs. And that is really all that you have to do as a wolf. Now we can just jump across this, barely make that last jump. And we have more and more barriers. Did you really hit me right now? I, I really just don't appreciate that, buddy. I, I just don't appreciate it. Now here, way too big of a gap to jump across. But luckily, these uh, candles are claw shot targets. So we can claw shot our way. Up to the top. Can we reach that one? Yes, we can. Good. But then, of course, more enemies. Yeah, we're not done yet with these barriers. Let's finish one of you guys off. Since the other one was down anyway, I was willing to risk it. And here we have a pretty annoying one that I'm pretty bad at. But yeah, we have uh, these spinners. Well, let's go across, go across, and there we go. Did it in one go. That's good. But yep, another barrier and another dark nut. But there is the boss room. We're almost true, guys. We are almost true. But let's go ahead, start with this guy. I'm actually gonna break that so it's not in the way as much. And then get behind you. Oh, damn it, that was a bad move on my part. Almost worked out for me. Oh yeah, that did work out for me. Let's back off now. Actually, if you stay near this one wall, you at least won't roll into um, the barrier. So that, that can be pretty good for you. Okay, good. More of your armor is coming off. Let's back off now. Damn it. You keep blocking me. Oh yeah, but you slashed when you shouldn't have slashed. And we dodged when we should have dodged. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, That's why you shouldn't actually roll around their right side. Because that's where they have their sword. So try to roll around the other side if you can. Um, because there, there's less of a chance that they'll hit you with their sword as you're rolling. Just, just a little tip that I always forget myself. But there we go. He is down. The barrier disappears and we can go through there. However, if back in the courtyard you did go to both sides and you got both keys, you have an extra key. And you can unlock this door right here. And this door leads you to... The treasury! That's right, there's a bunch of chests here. And we can get a bunch of goodies. An orange rupee. A happy Zelda stamp. A silver rupee. Bomblings. I did use up a few, so I guess that's nice to get. Purple rupee. Some more arrows, which is useful because now I'm filled up. Some seeds, which I will literally never use. Some bombs, I should be filled up on that now too. Oh. More arrows even, just in case you weren't filled up. More bomblings, in case you still needed those. A red rupee, just because some more money never hurts. And the same goes for this yellow rupee, as well as this blue rupee. So yeah, a lot of good stuff right all over there. Now, there is also this fairy here. I could scoop him up, but uh, I could use the health, so I, I, I'm, I'm good with that. Uh, I don't think there are other fairies here. I think it's just the one. Um, but we might as well slash these pots real quick to check. Yeah, it is just that one fairy. But hey, a fairy is better than no fairy. Now let's go ahead. And hmm, do I want to have anything else equipped actually than my spinner? Um... 
Nah, it's fine. Let's go through the door. And face off against our boss. Alright, so now I'm showing off the other side here. Uh, to start off, yeah, there's no enemies at all around here. At least, none yet. If we go ahead and shoot this, it reveals the way that we need to light these torches. So, uh, yeah, just uh, keep that in mind. Now, if you pull out your lantern, as soon as you do, it should spawn a lot of bats. I thought it did, but actually it did. Now we need to follow that same pattern in that order and uh, then we will be good. So light a torch, light a torch, light a torch, and light a torch. And that was not the right order. Okay, let's just take, get rid of these bats. Okay. Okay, that, that was bad. Um... But that d does get rid of our bats at least. Or one more bat. Okay, whatever. Now the bats are gone. So yeah, we have that painting there. Which one did we s have to start with? Uh, I always forget this. Um, yeah, okay. No, no. It, it's this one first. Then this one. Then this one. And finally that one. And there we go. That lights up the room and unlocks our door here. Now that's the order that you want to do it in. So then we can go to this next room. And in this room we just have two armored Lizalfos. Nothing to write home about. And uh, we'll just have to take them out. So yeah, you got two armored Lizalfos instead of two Dark Nuts. That is definitely a lot uh, more doable in my opinion a lot easier to deal with although i as i say that i do get to it. so i don't know maybe i don't know what i'm talking about anyway that's one of them no i thought we had one of them down apparently not okay there we go that's one of them down And you're not that you're not down yet. Okay, let's shield bash and helm splitter. There we go. That takes both of them out. And now, again, you know, if you uh, go through that door, you or if you go through that door, you continue on with the dungeon. It's the same as the suit of armor doors on the other side uh, of the dungeon. But if we go out here. Nope, actually, that's the wrong door. That gets you to the balcony, so that continues on with the story. What I meant to say was go through this door with the suits of armor. And that puts us on another one of these balconies. But there's just a switch here. That switch lowers this chandelier right over here. And that does get you a shortcut up here now, if you so desire. So yeah, if you want a shortcut, then use this.